Hey ladies and gents, welcome to the official career mode deep dive trailer reaction video. So this is where we play the video. I react to different segments, so I'll be pausing it along the way, just giving you my thoughts as we go. So let's get straight into this. First time welcome I've seen this, so we'll just have to see what they have to say. For FIFA 23. With us to get into the finer details is Sheldon and our FIFA 23 producers. Let's get started. Thanks, Derek. So today we're talking about everything new with career mode in FIFA 23. And here to talk about it are Alex and Yonel from the development team. Hey, guys. Hey, Sheldon. Hey, Sheldon. Happy to be here. Excited to have you joining us because there's so many new things to cover from playable highlights to authentic managers. We even have a new menu. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, Alex, let's chat about the new player career personality. Player personality is one of the major features in player career this year. It's a fluid system that drives a personal connection to your player and it lets you define your character both on and off the pitch. For example, deciding whether or not you should pass the ball to a teammate or making a shot attempt on your own, that contributes towards developing your personality in a certain direction. And we have three different personality types, each type of decision contributing to those. So we have Mavericks, they're opportunists on the pitch, aggressively chasing goals, individual glory, and they act on intuition and they seek stardom off the pitch as well. Virtuosos are skillful and intelligent. They use their technique to change matches and act spontaneously both on and off the pitch. And last but not least, heartbeats are, as the name implies it, the heartbeat of the team. They read the game one step ahead of opponents. They lead by example off the pitch. As I said, it's not just about what you do on the pitch, but about the activities that you engage with off the pitch as well. You can visit an injured teammate in the hospital, you can buy a sports car, lots of activities that you can do that have an impact on your personality as well. What's great about this system is that it evolves as you play the game. So you may start out as a Maverick, which in turn will unlock specific attribute boosts that are associated to the Maverick playstyle. So for example, attributes such as finishing, could end up being boosted if you're really evolved as a maverick. Well, as, as a heartbeat, you might see other attributes being boosted if you get to a certain personality level. So there's a lot of freedom and it's an ever evolving system, like I said, so we're excited to see what decisions our players will make in the game. We hear it so often from the community. Players want to progress in their career, win those big matches throughout a season, but they just don't have time to play the full 90 minutes. Are there any other options here in FIFA 23? We really want to bridge the gap between that dedication of playing a 90 minute match and risking it all with a quick sim just to get to the end results. And to that extent, we've developed a new feature called playable highlights, which allows you to only play the highlights of the match, the situations which would have an outcome that influences the result directly. It's also very attributes driven, depending on the quality of the two teams facing each other. So lots of variation in there, a very exciting feature that kind of presents itself as a highlight reel. Yono, can you take us through the new menu? Okay, I'm just gonna stop it there. So. The first segment is mainly around the player career mode and they talked about these three different um, personalities, Maverick, Heartbeat and Virtuoso. I I get it. I like the fact that, you know, you get boost for depending on what you're going to be. You can see here, plus five for volleys if you're plus five for vision, if you're a Heartbeat. But the thing I didn't understand is like, if you increase Maverick, do you lose these points? Do you gain extra points into Maverick? I assume, obviously, that you'll get extra points in Maverick, like in terms of plus five free kick accuracy, like you can see above, but will you actually lose the points? I assume you do. And, I, and the, the only thing I don't understand is how do you mold your player to do stuff like this? Does that mean that if you're... A playmaker you're going to be more like a heartbeat and if you're the goal scorer you're going to be like a maverick or if you're a bit of both then you're going to be like i don't know you know a sort of split an even split of a heartbeat and a maverick that's the thing i really want to try and understand but obviously they haven't given us the details so it's a it's a good idea that they're adding extra layers of depth to the, the pro you know the, the career mode of the player and obviously here you've got um, the attributes, so physical, defending, dribbling, passing, shooting, pace, and goalkeeping. And then under that, you've got, it looks like, things obviously you can spend these points on. So, you know, these are the passing ones. It doesn't say anything. 
the only one we can see is the short passing and vision. It says select this trait to increase your short passing ability and vision on the pitch. So you're only so it's like a it's sort of like it's not like you're upgrading these areas to get a certain type of pass or a certain type of shot that you can unlock, you know, say for example a knuckle shot or some additional skills. It's more like just a way of training and boosting your training. Personally, I would like to them to see go, them go down the eFootball route, but have individual um, challenges for your player maybe, and then you ch you just basically choose the stats you want to increase. I think this is quite, not complicated, it's quite simple, but I think it could be simplified to allow you to develop a player on how you want to develop them rather than go down, okay, you're, you're a maverick, therefore you're you're good at shooting, but you can't really do some of the other stuff you know you have to try and balance that out so i think it's uh it's it's definitely worth a you know it's definitely worth a look you know definitely it's definitely an improvement on the player career mode or player you know player career mode and uh but what i really like is these here the playable highlights where you can basically pick and choose um where to take control so they give you like a scenario where you're going to have a chance. So for those players that haven't got all the time in the world to play the player career mode, that, this is one of the things I will definitely probably like if I was playing a player career mode. Last thing you want to do is like spend a whole 90 minute match, you know, waiting for the ball and stuff. And here now you can just do the playable highlights. The ball comes to you and then what you do from there on is down to you. So you get to pick and choose these moments. I mean, you know, what happens if you have a, a match where the ball doesn't come to you? You're going to have very, very few chances and or no chances at all. So, you know, I think this could be, a, this is definitely a, a big plus in my opinion, the playable highlights. I really like the side of that. I would like to see that evolve into, um, I mean, it does say player and manager career. So I'm hoping that's going to be part of the actual career mode itself. That would be cool because then you could, you know, obviously before we had like, um, had, they had the sim and then you had the sort of top down view of where you can watch the ball and stuff if this is playable highlights is in the actual manager career mode which i think it is because it says their player and manager career that is going to be pretty cool not gonna lie that's gonna be pretty cool that's a really good way to like skip through a season but not bore everyone to death with like just the ball going back and forth so that's that's pretty cool. No. Presents absolutely, and, and I'm actually excited about. Now they're going to talk about the new our menu. Players are spending a lot of time in the menu in career mode specifically. So there's a lot of interactions within the career mode UI. So we're happy this year to streamline all of that, implement a new interface that allows you to get to what you need really fast, spend less time navigating, and spend more time actually actively thinking about how to best manage this time off the pitch so it's covering a lot of key features from the game and we're excited to allow our players to interact with this new system and get immersed in the career mode universe another new feature coming to fifa 23 or that okay so they redesigned the menu made it more streamlined something they could have done a long time ago i always thought they could but to be honest it looks very similar in terms of like the layout at the, across the top and they basically instead of having the bump uh, the buttons all jumbled up in the middle. It's like they put them all down the bottom now. So I don't know. It just uh, I just think they could condense it more maybe. But I think you know streamlined is good because we, last thing we'll do is like it was a little bit convoluted in FIFA 22. But once you got used to it, it wasn't too bad. So it just means I have to get used to the new uh, the new menu. But it does look it does look much better though. Streamlined is always good. And now we're going to move into dynamic moments, player and manager career mode. Dynamic moments in career mode. So can you explain what these moments are? As you know, we've been doing a, a good job at celebrating success when it comes to winning trophies. Now we've added some new cinematic sequences, which would focus on the celebration of switching clubs or transferring players in and out of your squad to improve it. But at the same time, we have focused on other moments of player career as well. If a new star signing arrives at your club, you might see something happen with said player. Or if you're achieving a key moment in your player career mode journey, 
you could also see that highlighted as well. So there's a lot of fist bumping going around, a lot of moments where you get to be surrounded by your squad mates, and it's something that's really immersive, it's really fun, and it's something that really brings you into that career mode universe that you're creating for yourself. Speaking of transfers, it's almost like an art. You learn as you go. How is this all going to play out in FIFA? Okay, I'm going to pause it there before we move on to transfer analysis. So it sounds like more cutscenes, and this is all well and good, but once you've seen one cutscene, the last thing you want to do is see it over and over again, and that's my that's always been my fear of cutscenes in, in football games, and you end up just pressing the skip button. So whilst it's, it's a nice touch, it's... um. Uh, I'm not a big fan of cutscenes at all. I'm forever hitting the skip button, especially when you do transfer deals in uh, in FIFA. The 23, as we learn along the way, signing new players. So as you've mentioned, Sheldon, the transfer window is one of the most exciting times for us as football fans. So we're happy to complement that experience in career mode this year. We've built a new transfer evaluation feature that will give you an analysis of all the transfers that you're doing. So after each transfer, you will see this new feature. Evaluate how well you've done as a negotiator or highlight where your new signing could best fit in your squad. It would also give you hints as to how you can improve your negotiation moving forward, maybe get a better price for your players, or maybe even get a better deal for players that you want to sell on further in your career mode playthrough as a manager. And not just our managers getting smarter here. Can you tell us how? I really like that. I really, really like this, where you get a rating on how well you're negotiating. Because one of the problems I had in FIFA 22, I started in the bottom of the you know bottom leagues i created a club and if you've not seen it go check it out it's bridgewater united it's actually the first episode is one of my favorites pieces of work i've ever done it's quite funny and uh and there's some good moments in there it's actually my hometown club as well so go check that out but what i was going to say is like with the with the ratings i really like this because like i said i was in the lower divisions i was paying out fees i was handing out um wages and I had no clue on a lot of these players. Unless you scout them, you don't really know how much they're on. So I used to just go, okay, I'm just going to throw this guy five grand a week. But I had no indication whether I was like overpaying him. Did I pay over the odds? It just, it was like a, a little bit of numbness there. But with this rating, you can go, you know, if you get an F, you're like, oh God, <laughs> you know, I've, I've signed a, a really bad player and I've paid well over the odds for this guy. And what I also like is that it doesn't just give you a rating. It says... It's going to provide you hints and tips of how you can improve your future negotiations. So that's really going to help as well, especially for new players. And, you know, I wouldn't consider myself a new player, but I don't play it enough to truly exploit the transfer system uh, to probably the potential that some of the pro players do or players who play this, you know, every day for the whole year. So this is really good. I really do like this. Strategic in game. So our new CPU AI system analyzes all of these parameters in a much more intelligent way. So what this means is that you will see your opponent make much more informed and better decision depending on the outcome of the different situations that you generate in game. If I'm really dominating a match and I score one, two goals, you may see your opposition make some more offensive minded substitutions to try to claw back into the game. And we're excited to see this play out in these lengthy career mode seasons. Lastly, can you take us through the all? I really like this as well, the AI tactics. I mean, whether it actually comes out, you know, the EA do a great job marketing the game, right? They they talk the talk, they walk the walk. Well, they didn't walk the walk, but they talk the talk. <laughs> um, but often, you know, they don't really deliver. If this is true that the AI are actually going to make attacking substitutions and actually change their formation to try and win the game, especially if you're a one or two goals up, that's really, really good. Managers in FIFA 23. This feature has been a really long time coming. FIFA 23 finally brings you the ability to step in the shoes of some of the world's most famous managers. You can actually pick from the authentic likeness of any authentic manager that we have in the game, and you can put them at the helm of their current club, take them on to a different club if that's a scenario that you want to play out, or even put them at the helm of a club that you create and manage on your own as well. So you can choose your manager, you can customize their appearance, you can lead your club to glory in the shoes of some of the world's most known managers. There it is, we've covered it all with. I do like this. 
I do like the fact that you can choose an authentic manager. That is something I would definitely do because I didn't really like, oh, well, sometimes I like put myself in the game, but sometimes I wanted to actually like live myself as, as Thomas Tuchel and, and use his tactics in my head of what those would look like. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy that they're including authentic managers and you can actually pick them. The one thing I was kind of hoping, you know, they would mention on the career mode is like, an involvement to the creator club, uh, creator club career mode. They introduced it last year, and it's something I was like really looking forward to. But I found like the the stadium customization was really lacking. Like all you could do is change the the pitch, um, sort of the way the the grass looked on the pitch, the nets, and something else. I think oh the stadium, like the the. The color of the seats and you could slightly upgrade the stadium in terms of capacity but they were like they were pretty much set what i was really hoping for is like when you look at fut fifa ultimate team where you could actually like add big huge banners and stuff and and really deck out your stadium i was like well hold on you've got that facility in fut but in career mode we can barely change anything in the stadium we can barely upgrade it you should be able to like develop your stadium as you want you know, choose where you want the, the stands, choose where you want certain things to look. I would like that sort of customization from my stadium, but it doesn't look like it's going to be here. And I was just looking at these, uh, this information here. This looks all the same as like FIFA 22. So um, whilst the authentic managers are brilliant, I was just hoping we would see more on the creator club career mode side of things. Um, you know, there's still chance and time for them to come out with more information i guess and i think this is the end to player career manager career and the new menu alex yonel thanks for hanging out thanks a lot always let me know down in the comments if you're going to actually pick up fifa 23 what do you think about this career mode deep dive trader i'm kind of a little bit disappointed like i said around the creator club career mode but all the additions that i've seen and they've talked about in this video i'm actually kind of hyped about the only thing i'm really not hyped about is probably the player career mode side of things the pro club mode because i just don't dive into that and the additional cutscenes. i just that's just something that's not going to interest me anyway that's all for me ladies and gents thanks for watching i'll see you next time take care and goodbye